Hello. Hey, Jerry. Hello. Hey, everyone. Morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good day. Um, it's Thursday, the 12th of November, and we're here again. Um, we've actually not streamed for a couple of weeks, I think. We kind of, uh, or maybe just last week, we didn't stream on that uh, that slot because uh, we were working on other stuff uh, that you'll probably get to know uh, soon. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Uh, and today I'm with uh, Jerry. Jerry, who are you? Where are you? What do you do? So I'm a techno writer here on the team with Postman. I'm located in uh, SF Bay area. And it's great to join the stream today with you, Arnimi. I mean, it's great for now. Just give it a give it a few more minutes. We've had people on the stream. They all said they hated it. No, just kidding. It should be it should be great. Um, <laughs> we actually we usually start the stream with a in case you missed it section, uh, which is about what's new in Postman. Uh, but turns out since last stream, there's nothing new. Uh, again, uh, we're prepping some stuff, uh, some some releases that will come up very soon, uh, and that there will be a lot of change uh, on the Postman side. So for now, it's a bit quiet on the on the release side. Um, so we can jump straight into uh, into the topic today, um, and the topic today is building a Dota leaderboard using the Open Dota API. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Open Dota API. Okay, so I think the first thing we can start. Um, so I'm I'm a I'm not gonna say I consider myself a gamer, but I do I do play games, so I, I know what's Dota. Uh, but I'm, there may be viewers out there that don't know what Dota is. Um, so can you give us a quick uh, a quick summary of what Dota is? Um, uh, Dota is a MMORPG game that's played with five v five online, where the goal is to defeat your opponents and destroy something called the ancient that's in their home base. However, you have to go through many, many uh, lanes of towers and obstacles before you can get there. And then the thing about the leaderboard that we're talking about today is known within the Dota community as MMR, which is a abbreviation of matchmaking ranking so the higher the mmr number the higher theoretical skill level and ranking you are in the higher loaded to community so is that the is the mmr based on your wins your uh kills and stuff like that then oh definitely yeah it's based on each yeah yes the wins in the loss and the losses so it's like the more hot the more wins that you have the higher your MMR, and then each time you lose a match, you lose between 15 to 20 some points, depending on the ranking. So okay. you could really snowball up and down <laughs> if you're good or bad. Yeah, I'm on a I'm playing Valorant right now, and I've been snowballing down lately. It's not it's not been great. Um, my experience with uh, MMR actually is that um, when it's not in a game. Everyone requests it, and then when it's in the game, everyone hates on it. That's <laughs> uh, that, that's been that's been my experience. Um, but it's good. Okay, so it's it's a good introduction to to Dota and to MMR. Um, let's. So we we're, we're gonna look at stats of players. Are, are you gonna, are we gonna look at your stats? Yes. <laughs> okay. <It's low. laughs> I haven't played for a while, so it's like pretty low. But hey. Okay, so we we want to. Somewhere. We want to get uh, data from, so we want to get your MMR. Uh, will this give you? Will, will this give us your place in in the number of players as well, or will we have to figure that out? Um, it may not give you the place in the in the entire ranking. However, it will give my personal MMR. Okay, okay. Then uh, can I start sharing your screen so we can start exploring the API? Uh, yes. Okay, then I'll bring your screen up. Um, so tell us, we in the title we've put we're going to use the Open Dota API, which, from the name, I'm guessing is a is an open API that we can use to create that data. But maybe you can tell us a bit more about it. Uh, yes, yes, we can definitely. We will be using 
actually both the open Dota API and the Steam Web API itself to grab the user uh, user ID that's assigned to each Steam, uh, Steam user. So, so we need so the yeah. we need the Steam user in order to query the Dota API. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So it goes uh, querying the Steam API, sending that uh, user ID to uh, Open Dota, and then Open Dota returns uh, your MMR. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> um, okay. How do we get started? All right. So the first thing someone have to do is to go to uh, steamcommunity.com slash dev. Let's make this a little bit bigger for everyone. We have Basab on the chat that says hi. Hey, Basab. <laughs> Hello. All right. And then you yeah, got to scroll down. You can go over to this link over here. So you just have to log in. So now we know your Steam Steam ID. We can go and and stalk you, see what you play, etc. <laughs> totally go for it, it's open book. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes. So I'm not gonna log in on the stream since I already have my uh, Steam ID set up. So basically, you log in here, you connect your Steam account. After that, you agree to terms and service, basically saying like, oh, you're not gonna use the Steam web API to do bad things and mess around with the server just don't be bad so okay it, so it's that, a mm -hmm. it's a free api but you have to register for it yes okay cool uh, and do they have like documentation because I, I i remember i think i checked that i was looking to create another type of little bot for another game and from my experience people were complaining that it was very poorly documented or like there was not a lot of data available through that API? Yeah, all they ha really have is this one big forum post <laughs> about nice. all the API calls that's possible <laughs> and potential, potentially how someone could extend it, but it's not great to be frank. Yeah, we, we usually like always, so when on this stream, when we use a specific API, where we start with going to the documentation, Looking at the different endpoints, it's usually like a nice display, and you can like click on the endpoint. It tells you expected like uh, requests, expected response, etc. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look like we'd get this here. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's fine. We can we can figure it out anyway. It's just another type of documentation. Mm -hmm. All right. um, uh, pardon me. Should I start showing? It's part of the process now. Yeah, or... let's go. Let's go for it. So we said uh, we said to query the Dota API. We need your uh, we need your game tag. Yes. Uh, so I'm guessing is there a, is there a game tag uh, endpoint? Uh, okay. Yes. So let's get the workspace started. Um, and then create a new collection. Dota to and then create a new request within the collection. Get Dota to ID. Okay, I see. So we need an endpoint where you can specify the game you want to get the ID for, because the ID is different for each game. Um, actually, thanks for catching that, Arnui. It's actually uh, oh, is it just Steam ID? Just, it'll be just Steam ID. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Then, if I remember <laughs> right. We go to the very well documented API. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is perfect doc. How does that work? <laughs> you need, you need it's just your ID, wow. this sixty four bit ID. 
believe you got to um copy paste this in and then i know it should be a get command get request from here so is that a okay so that's a path parameter yeah so you could put uh yeah you can put it directly here or you could put like column uh the name of the variable and you could put it in the params below but i guess both work mm -hmm. And let's see. I need to get my um your credentials, I'm guessing. Yes, my credentials. <laughs> Do you want me to stop sharing your screen while you put them in or uh, uh, yes, yes please. <laughs> okay. So I'll I'll describe I'll I'm I'm going to describe what you're currently doing. Um so you logged into your Steam web API thing, I'm guessing. You're pulling your is that an API key or what uh, is yeah. it? Okay, so it's you're getting your API key. Okay, so you're getting your API key, uh, adding it as, as credentials in Postman, so you can actually query um, query the API without being denied. Mm -hmm. um, and that's like that's that's how most APIs work. Like you need you need credentials, whether it is like API key uh, OAuth or whatever. Um, yep. There's a there's also free APIs that you don't even need to log in for, but these are rare. Right. Make it a make a new environment for us. Okay. So that's a that's a lot to <laughs> to say. So you're creating an environment, uh, and you're putting in your uh, API keys so you don't display it every time. Uh, we oh, go. It's yeah, just going to display the. It's just going to display the name of the variable, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Let me know when I can share again. Okay. I need a couple minutes. Got to make. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to. Uh, how am I going to do that? What I'm going to do in the same time, it's going to be easier than trying to explain everything. I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, so this is we're, we're in the same uh, team workspace with Jerry, uh, and this is what he's created. So what he's doing at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to do it without uh, without credentials. Uh, he went to his environments here. He's creating a new one. Uh, again, not going to click on it. So I could add one, and I'm going to create dot add example. Uh, he's creating a variable here that is probably API key, and then here in current value you can put the value of uh, your API key. Obviously, this is completely random. Uh, once you have a value in your environment, you can go in your request. Uh, and wherever you can actually use that variable. So I could go here and say API key once I select the right environment, API key. And now you can see that this is replaced by uh, the actual value of the oh, and result variable. Let's see why. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, did I actually call it? Oh, that was my bad. I actually put. Uh, brackets in the in the name there yeah yeah did you did you do it all uh yes yes i just added it in for the data <laughs> all right so i'm gonna switch back to uh jerry screen yep okay so we're seeing your screen now cool uh so ooh, okay a lot happened there um show us show us what's the what's the request like now what have you added uh, so the <clears throat> the base request actually um let's see what the heck can I do <laughs> oh shoot okay give me one give me actually give me one second I manage to okay, yeah, the, so the the, the other yeah. thing is not to do the thing is to explain the thing <laughs> <laughs> so. Actually, this would have been the request that we need to do for for getting the Steam ID from the from Steam Network with API. Okay, it would have to be pinpointing to apicpowercom slash i Steam user result. So, mm -hmm. so you replaced all of these. Like there was something else here before, right? Yeah, that was the URL from the 
forum, then I realized that that didn't quite work. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this is the one. Where, where did you get this one from? Is it from the forum as well, or is it like another doc somewhere else? I believe I, I believe I got it from another doc. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's actually here. You can see it uh, right below the one you've selected. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Cool. Oh yeah, right here. It's like... Yeah, it's just it, it didn't get highlighted because they forgot no. to close the code uh, tag. Wow. Okay, so it is it is in the docs. Okay, mm -hmm. it's these docs are even worse than we thought they were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so we have the works, and we've <laughs> added uh, your API key. And what's the what's the vanity ID thing? Uh, the vanity ID is basically my my user ID on Steam. Since okay. I customized it to username, so it will be. You got to use the vanity ID one. Okay. And I read in the Docker that you got to do some math after, but we can throw <laughs> that live with, uh, with the team here, with everyone here. Bad doc, no way. John <laughs> saying, we yeah, there's a there's a business case here. We need to reach out to them and let them know that there's easy way to to generate your docs. Yeah, <laughs> we should get on that. <laughs> so, so if you send a request, uh, what do you get back? Um, Let's test the live. There we go. In the in the body part, we can see we got a response, Steam ID, it's a string of a number, and the mm -hmm. success one. So hey, we got my uh, Steam ID. <laughs> and then I did a bit of reading here. They said that in order to really use the Steam ID with another API that queries the Steam database, we yeah. need to do some math and create it, uh, convert it into a Steam ID 32 instead of Steam ID 64, which is, why not just give me 32 from the beginning? Yeah, they really, they really don't want people to call their API. <laughs> <laughs> so. so you've done that before for us, have you? Yes, I okay. have had to think through this so that it doesn't just go, what's going on? <laughs> so, all right. Save this, save the progress on that. Can you try uh, changing the the vanity ID to my uh, Steam ID and see, what, see if you can actually query all the people's uh, Steam ID? Oh, definitely. Um, can you tell me your Steam ID, Arlemy? No, it's it's my my first name, so Arlemy. Arlemy. Yeah. Let's see. If there's like privacy, okay. No, you're able to query it as well. Good to know. <laughs> I think as long as you have your share my match info turned on for your profile, it uh, should work. That makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, it would be on my end. I could like stop people from querying my profile, mm -hmm. but I probably have not done that because same like. You can check my profile. There's no, there's nothing to see there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my profile doesn't show my ranks in game because that would be that would be sad. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are in for a surprise when you see my ranking for Dota. <laughs> like, I love the game, but sometimes I just but mess the, up the, the game the game doesn't like you. No, the game doesn't <laughs> like me most half the time. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have uh, we have a Steam ID. You've done some conversion before, so I'm guessing somewhere you have it written down as a 32 bits. Yes, 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 I do. Okay, cool. Uh, what's the next step? Next step is is we're gonna go back to here. We will go to uh, Open Dota API. And open Dota API okay, so that, is, hmm? that looks like proper docs. I like that. <laughs> yep, they are way ahead of Steam in terms, in terms <laughs> of documentation on APIs. Um, can you zoom in a bit on your screen? Just want to make sure yes. that everyone can see. Cool. That's great. Right. And then, so yes. Uh, open API, open Dota API is a free API. However, 
In order to help them prevent people from abusing the service, they require you to create an account and yeah. add a add a credit card to it. I've already done this. Okay, so you, you need a credit card. And I'm guessing if you like go over it, a certain number of calls or something, then you pay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We so we won't be setting a a monitor that calls it every second, otherwise it's gonna start charging your cards. Right. <laughs> no, I mean it's sixty calls per minute, so Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. No problem. Plus it's only one cent for every one call for every one hundred call we go over in the, the Yeah, limit, that's so. <laughs> that's cheap enough. Yeah. Okay, so you have a you have an account. Mm -hmm. uh, and did you show that when you tried to log in, you used Steam? Yes, to log in? I, okay. I needed to uh, connect my Steam account, so they authorized it. So mm -hmm. yes, okay. you are Jerry A, and then you're trying to connect with our servers for our services. OK, um, cool. So you, uh, do you have your credentials saved somewhere? Do you want to put them in the? In the environment, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> However, before I do that, I can show everyone how to create the requests for the mm. Open API APIs. Yep. Okay. What are they called again? Open Dota. Open, Open Dota, Dota API. API. That's a nice play on words. I like it. Let's go back to their talk and see how can we get our our rankings. Let's see. So you can get players by rank. You can get oh, so you can get pro players. Is it's pro players like players playing rank? Or how is how are they categorized? Because there's a if you keep scrolling, yeah. There's a get players, get pro players and get players. Shot two oh. different, yeah. Here, I have not, <laughs> I haven't explored the API enough. However, let's see, they have an example of. Hmm. Oh, is that like an official? Because obviously, like D Dota is a uh, is pretty huge on the esports side, so they have like official pro players. So I'm wondering if it's like their their list of players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, if their documentation is correct, then yes, we'll get a list of all the pro players listed in the uh, the Dota 2 database publicly. OK. Let's see. I, yeah. Here we go. This is why I, I was like, we need Steam32 <laughs> account ID. There, there has to be, there has to be an API that converts like Steam 64 to Steam 32. There and has then, to be. And then you can chain the three API calls. You, you chain the one that we've already done. You put the one uh, in between and then and then this one. So you don't have to do the math yourself. That's we, I, we do that for the end if we have more time. <laughs> oh, definitely. We can theoretically use uh, the test function yeah, oh, yeah. Postman to do the calculation and just like trigger it back to back you know back and forth mm -hmm. yeah we can add that as well let's let's give that for the end we probably have some time so we can do some tests mm -hmm. let's see so what are you what are you looking for I'm trying to see um, which API we should be using. It's okay. like <laughs> there's a there's a search at the top. If you look for like, that's per hero. Can't refresh. refresh. History. Nope, we're not getting that. There, there are rankings. 
Is that not the one, the rankings one? I think, yeah, I think it's actually, they call it ratings in there. Okay. Yep. All right. So, copy that. Going go back to Postman. Pretty sure like I said it's a get command. Yep. So let's create it. Let's create the the keys. First off, we need to. So you you need the account ID. Yeah, the account ID. So you could double click like like you did before. If you double click account ID. Uh, just, yeah, and do set as variable. Oh, then cool. you can set a new variable. Oh, do it again. Yeah, and there's a set as new variable. Yeah. All right. Um, and the value will be. I would be a number much smaller than the 64 one. Let's see. Hmm. He doesn't want to paste. No. <laughs> okay. Um, can you, oh, I think it just sets it by default and now you can edit it if you go and, oh, that's some. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> That's fine. I guess I'll be uh, invalidating some uh, API yep. keys after the stream. <laughs> so good. Uh, I think it just uh, takes the value by default, and you can probably edit it later on. So mm -hmm. try try to edit it right now. Like the if you click on the account ID and change it. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's blocked. cool. Um, there's probably one too many on each side. Yeah. The curly brackets, yeah. And now if you look at your environment, uh, I can stop sharing your screen. <laughs> yeah, probably not. And you, and you can paste the, the Steam ID. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yep, now I can finally do that. Let's see, look at there. Okay, I'm sharing again. Cool. So now we can see the Steam32 actually resolves its orange, and if you ha like, if you hover on it with your mouse, it should actually see like the. Okay, so that's the current value, and that's your Steam ID. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, and then I had to do some extra googling after looking this up that I have to add in <clears throat> the open API Dota, open Dota API key as an additional string parameter to this call. So we... Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a... I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Like you wouldn't have to get one otherwise. Uh, but if you go back to the docs, let's, mm -hmm. che let's check the docs quickly. If you go all the way to the top, isn't there like a authentication uh, on the left side, on the left uh, bar. Yeah, I see there's a authentication. So that should explain here. Yeah, they, they say it here mm -hmm. that you need to add your API key uh, at the end as a parameter. Yep. Okay. Let's see. So let's go back to here, players, and then. Get rid of the ratings request. That should be <clears throat> actually adding in the key. So Hannah says, I'm late to the game, but does this stream have anything to do with the Dota song? Because it's stuck in my head now. Um, I think so. I Dota, think so, yeah. Dota song from a base, base hunter? Yeah. I think yeah. The, that's, that's actually the the story of 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 Bass Hunter, right like he started doing songs like uh Hanabot and then Dota that were like very geek songs or like nerd songs like about uh, uh, a chatbot that you talk to or about a specific game mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And they were, they were starting to be like known, but not quite. So he rewrote them with very, uh, I'm not going to say boring lyrics, but like, uh, I think uh, Dota is now like all I ever wanted, it's named. And there's like yeah. very dumbed down uh, version of the songs, but it worked for him. Like it worked very well. Like they, they are listened to like a lot on Spotify. Um, will I sing it please for your birthday? Um, yes, yes. I'll please. sing it. I'll sing it when it's your birthday, Anna. No worries. <laughs> Do you want to give a preview um, of the performance right now? <laughs> no, I need a. I did not warm up my uh, vocal cords, unfortunately, so I can't. Right. I can't just go like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, what have you been doing? What I've been like talking random things. Uh, you added an API key parameter. Mm -hmm. Just wondering if you could uh, unshare my screen real quick, so I yep. can put in my Dota key. Yeah, it's unshared. Cool. What about now as an early birthday present or related one? Um, uh, I'm just not feeling it right now. Like, I really want to. Yeah, I just, I just can't. It's. I need to, I need to warm up first. <laughs> if you, if you let me know next time before the stream, then I can prep for it. Maybe, we'll see. Or well, only if uh, Jerry sings as a duo and he does like the, the third. Man, I haven't listened to that song for two, three years at least. So I actually listened to it last week, like with one of my uh, German friends. Uh, we went through all the like EU kind of techno of that age, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. there were so many, so many things that I had no clue about. Uh, but Bass Hunter was definitely like in there. Okay, I'll be sharing your screen again. All right. Okay, so, so you've added the, the key. Mm -hmm. And I think we're ready to test now. Um, so. Wait, you removed something though, right? You removed the slash rating. Yes, I I had to do some research and then they just like, take out the rating one, just go straight for the key and it should work. Okay, so we don't need the slash rating to get the rating. Mm -mm. Okay, that's uh, in interesting. <laughs> Let, let's can we try it with rating anyway? Oh yeah, definitely. So, rating. Okay. So. And that should fail. Yes. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> and this should work. Okay. See, as we can see, my they found my uh, user ID, mm -hmm. my vanity ID. And then, sorry, and then when we scroll all the way down, we have my uh, estimated MMR right now, which is less than one thousand. I have no clue if it's good or bad. What's the what's the average? Uh, average is around two k, two thousand, and then the upper limits is. I believe last time I checked was about eight thousand or so, oh, maybe okay, even yeah. higher. So. <laughs> well, at least you're not you're not zero. So yeah. there's oh. that. <laughs> there's that. The silver lining. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm like. Oh, so you don't have a competitive rank? Is that because you didn't play that season? Yeah, I haven't played for a few seasons. Okay, and I'm guessing so. This actually includes a leaderboard. Like, there's a leaderboard rank thing. Yep. So, so if you'd been playing comp, you would be ranked already? I believe so, yeah. But because you're not, we can actually estimate based on your MMR, which is why we're using the API. Yes, yes. Yeah. So this is, I guess, the basic baseline of the, the stream. We got my Steam ID, and mm -hmm. we calculated the Steam ID 32. And then we have open open Dota API, getting our uh, estimated MMR. If the user does not have a competitive rank, 
and leaderboard rank set up because they have played during the season. However, our next step would be figuring out how to share it with your followers on Twitter, saying mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm MMR 931 right now. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go play a game, and after your game, you can run this uh, collection on in Postman and share it with your followers. And like, hey, it went up by twenty points. Oh no, I <laughs> lost the game. It, it went down for by twenty twenty seven points. So, that, yeah, can can we? So uh, I'm wondering if there's a way that every time when you finish a game, it triggers like a call or like it triggers the monitor. So that you don't even have to do it manually, it just does it for you. Uh, but that could be that could be next step. Let's let's first look at like publishing to Twitter. Mm-hmm. All right. So I've been in the past few weeks messing around with Twitter. So I have my Twitter API and developer account set up. So let me create the request, and then we'll have to shut off my uh, screen share while <laughs> I put in my Twitter ID. Yeah, this one probably you don't wanna don't wanna have to change. <laughs> there's, there's like I think four or five keys I got to change up. Let me get <laughs> Twitter tweet your MMR. Save up and go to ranking. Save. <laughs> Shinkin on the chat is saying, "Great look, Alimi. By any chance, are you following PewDiePie's look?" Um, I think he's following my look. <laughs> no, I think uh, so. I don't know if anyone's wondering, uh, but if PewDiePie and me have that mustache lately, it's because we're doing Movember, um, uh, which is about raising funds and awareness for uh, mental health issues, uh, cancer, etc. So if you're interested in that, you can read more on Movember.com. Um, but yeah, somehow this makes me look a lot like. PewDiePie just because I have a moustache now. (laughs) (laughs) So right now we're on we're on the Twitter developer talks page. And then we got to go into fundamental Twitter PI. There we go. Yes. Their V2 API is still in early access, so it doesn't have all the Auto calls. We will have to use their V one point one. Okay, should be under tweets. We've actually, I think, we did a stream where we explored their V two, and for now, it's mostly about search and resurfacing facing stuff, and not so much about posting. Uh, mm-hmm. But they're they're getting there. Um, Hannah is saying, <laughs> "Can we get a close up on that goatee? Is it too late for me to grow my mustache too?" No, it's never too late to start growing a <laughs> mustache. <laughs> 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 There's actually t- until the end of the month. Uh, you can take part in in November, so if you feel like it, go for it. Actually, I have a question for Shinkin if he's still watching, um, or anyone else on the chat that is watching and playing Dota. Uh, if you want to share your usernames with us, we can share. We can we can check your uh, MMR and compare it with uh, Jerry, and then we can make a leaderboard of the of our viewers. I'm get so embarrassed because, like, man, I'm so bad. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm wondering if you could get my MMR because I've played Dota like at least twice in my life. Oh goodness! <laughs> um, but you would need my Steam ID, and then you would need to do the calculation on like converting to uh, to thirty-two, uh, right? Yeah, that's pretty fast. We can do the math right on screen if you want. That's fine. Do you want to do MMR? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, Mimi. Send. So, it's yours. <laughs> Anna, later. Anna says, it's okay to be bad at Dota because you are good at Dev Real Jerry. So, you've got your priority straight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. Um, all right. Okay. Wrong. Too many tabs. It's only about eight. <laughs> Copy that. Oh, okay. To minus that much. Boom. 
That's your Steam32. OK. Can you not even copy? Copy. All right. <laughs> then we go to Open Dota. PI key. So Shinkin is saying, didn't get into Dota. He played League of Legends for some time and haven't, hasn't played it since. Um, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a League of Legends person. I think we have uh, we have quite a few League of Legends players in the at Postman. We, we could we could organize some sort of tournament. Oh, that'd be fun. Ooh. What? <clears throat> I mean, I, I played like twice, probably <laughs> years ago. So there's high ch chances that uh, this has been reset. Yeah, but... they actually changed it like. I think about four or five times in the past four or five years. <laughs> okay. Like how they want to rank everyone, do the calculations. So it's like we can we can resume uh, yours then. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Hannah is saying, do you think we could get AOC to play Dota and learn Postman? Um, AOC has he's a huge League of Legends player actually. Um, she she tweeted about that at some point about how. She could take any comments in politics because she's used to deal with the toxicity of people on League of Legends. Um, you can you can research that. That's actually quite interesting. I mean, is it quite interesting? I don't know. But yeah, she she would probably do a a stream like this. I don't know. We can, we can try. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool to have her on on the stream for this. Um, goodness. All right, so. I believe. Okay, so let's go back because we've talked, we've we've uh, diverged a lot. Uh, so quick recap for anyone that's joined after. What we're doing here, uh, we got the. We're trying to get MMRs ranking from Dota, uh, so we're getting Jerry's one, uh, and based on that, what we want to do now. Uh, we managed to get that using the Steam API and the Open Dota API. And now that we have this, what we want to do is uh, create a collection that's going to automatically uh, get this data after a game, and that posts it to Twitter. And then you can tell to your uh, followers, oh, after this game, I've gained like plus 20 in MMR, or I've lost like minus 120 uh, because I had about the like, KD ratio or something like that. <laughs> All right, so to use the Twitter API, this is the the link you would have to reach out to, uh, send a request to mm -hmm. within Postman. Get that set up. Connect to Postman. Status. Okay. And then you need a, a status parameter to say like it's just a string of of what you want to send. I'm guessing. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a string variable. So this is my. And then. So if you send this, it's going to tweet. Oh, do you, have you done the authorization yet? I I'm going to have to add an authorization <laughs> right now. You can okay. Please, uh, yeah. I will yes, uh, stop sharing. Okay. So once again, we're getting off of uh, off Jerry's screen just because he's going to do some uh, copy pasting of API keys. Uh, username and passwords. So, um, so yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna share that. We've actually we've done I think probably two or three streams with Twitter people or talking about the Twitter API, and every single time we've leaked credentials. Um, <laughs> so it would be a great success if today we were not sharing any. So I'm guessing one thing that we would need to do uh, after this one. Uh, is we need to get the MMR from the previous request, save it as a 
environment variable. Mm -hmm. And then we can reuse that variable in the next call, which is posting to Twitter. Definitely, yes. OK. Do we still, still not have any Dota player on the chat? Oh, yeah, good question, actually. The one thing that I forgot to mention when I did the recap, uh, what is MMR? Can you MMR go through is, that again? Is the, you call it, <clears throat> it's, it stands for match making ranking. It represents your skill level and your pass uh, match loss and wins ratio. So the higher the MMR, the, the greater amount of uh, matches that you've won in the past. And it's and basically, just, mm -hmm. I was going to say the, the strongest people you'll face as well. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so in the matching, it'll be basically if you're, you have high MMR, you'll be matched up with other people of high MMR. And hopefully that means they're better teammates too. <laughs> Which is not always always the case. Nope. That's <laughs> that's super disappointing to be honest, because like man, I want you guys to be nice, but like y'all just bully sometimes. And it's like <laughs> that's not so fun sometimes. So then yeah. that's what you get for playing online, right? Sometimes they're bullies, it? sometimes they're nice. Yeah. That that comes back to what we're we're talking about the League of Legends community. I've done games where someone decides to just ruin the whole game for everyone. Uh, and that's, I mean, that just makes you want to, yeah, I think <laughs> Shinkin is saying he's been there. I think anyone that plays like online games, uh, unfortunately, uh, this is the case on many online games that uh, it can be ruined by anyone that decides to ruin it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's online games, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. um, Okay, you, so uh, I can see your screen. I, I'm not sharing it, but I can see it, and I'm thinking you're still copy pasting stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got everything, but I'm gonna double check it because like there's so much, man. <laughs> there's like it, uh, five or it, six. You gotta go around on it. So actually, I'll share my screen again uh, and okay. show something quickly in the meantime. Uh, so Jerry is doing some uh, Twitter stuff. And, and what he's doing is actually going to his Twitter profile, uh, copy pasting each of the uh, each of the values, pasting it in uh, pasting it in in Postman. Um, Twitter actually offers a collection in Postman directly here that you can maybe grab. I can't seem to be able to grab it right now. Okay, I can. Um, and if I run into Postman, so it's the V2, so that's not the one that Jerry is using, but I could do that, run into Postman. Uh, it imports the collection for me. Uh, and I think it's got some like easy setup for it. So if I edit at the collection level, uh, I can see that it's already pre-created for me. I have all these variables that are like pre-written. And all I have to do is go in here and pasting the values. Uh, and this is applied to all the requests. So if I had to do a tweet lookup now, I could just send that request. Uh, all of this inherits from the collection level, so what I just did before, uh, and I could just play with it. So because because Jerry created a new a brand new request, you can see it here. Uh, he has to do it manually, uh, but you have this like easy way to do it if you all just wanna if you just wanna use the Twitter API on its own. It's very easy to just import the collection uh, and start sending requests. Uh, but that's that's again that's the v2 and as as we mentioned before this one doesn't allow to send stuff it's mostly i think it's only get requests for now hmm. uh oh there's a few there's a few post ones um but yeah that's the that's the status of their v2 they're still working on it they're improving based on like user feedback just like we do for all features mm -hmm. um so they're working on it okay have i filled enough time or oh, not yet not yet it's like okay <laughs> I'm liking that I'm just copy pasting everything. It's like, come on. So one of the things as well. It's always happening on a on a stream. It's like, oh, <laughs> perfect time to uh, mess with Jerry. <laughs> yep. Uh, one of the things as well. So Jerry, when we are on this screen, uh, these variables actually resolve. Um, you can see that they're not resolving here and here. I think. Let me double check before I share it. Uh, Yep. 
Okay, no, he's actually shared it, so I would I would display that as well. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, we have Sean Keegan that says, would Jerry have saved himself some time and convenience importing the Twitter collections and doing it that way? Um, probably not, I'm guessing. Uh, the, the reason why Jerry is... is uh, is taking some time now is just because I think his credentials are not correct. It's not that it's taking time to import everything. So if he went the the way to import the, the Twitter collection, he would have imported it. Uh, he could have tried doing the calls here. Uh, but then when uh, when duplicating the request and moving it somewhere else, so let's say I do that call, uh, I duplicate it and move it to my other collection uh, because Move it here. Oh, I can't. So this collection is Jerry's one. So I don't have any rights to it. Let me create a new one. Sample collection. So again, I duplicated it. Uh, move it somewhere here. Move it to my sample collection. Because the authorization was inherited from parent, I would have lost everything anyway. Um, where he would have game time is that because of the Twitter API uh, environment, he could have just selected that and got the credentials. But at the end of the day, he would have had to put them once anyway. Uh, so whichever collections he, he, he was using, um, he would have saved, saved time if his whole point was just using Twitter. But when you're using it with something else, uh, you may as well just create a new, uh, a new entry. Okay, how are we looking on Jerry's side? Um, I feel like I I, I got a. Do you want to in, uh, investigate together? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to share your screen. Yep. Okay. So, what's happening? <clears throat> I think I getting... found out that I got to add DC there these three variables into our mm -hmm. environment for Postman. Yep. yep. And then I'm just trying to copy that over from my existing uh, testing environment. Yep. Where I had uh, Twitter set up correctly and hopefully the copy pasting will work properly this time and it should be much, much more smoother. So if I can have a couple minutes, Hopefully it'll work. Okay. Um, I'm being told my app, my app is not readable. That's because I forgot to zoom in my screen before the start of the stream. Uh, let me do that quickly. Um, quickly, Jerry, while you do that, could you give me permissions mm -hmm. on your collection and I can start doing the tests and show how to do that? Oh, definitely, yes. Um, how can I do that? So if you uh, right click on your collection, mm -hmm. let me show you so people can see it. Uh, manage roles. Manage roles. And then uh, everyone in the team, you can put editor. Yep. And save. And now I'll be able to edit the collection and do, and do the things. Cool. All right. So, Let's see. Cool. Thank you, all of me. <laughs> so what we wanted to do, uh, what is strange to sort out this bit, we said we need to get the data from that call uh, and make sure that we get the we get the MMR in, a, in an environment viable. So let's see if that works. That doesn't work, uh, mostly because uh, internal server error. Interesting. Hmm. I think everything is currently uh, losing us. Okay, can you? Update the account ID in the environment? Yes. Dota two environment and then the key, let's see what the key is, the key should be there. Open ID app. Um, the, the open 
open dot API request should be working right now. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Still no. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Did you oh, update the wait. Steam thirty two uh, in initial value or only current value? Uh, I only did the current one. However, can you put it to yes. the initial one as well? Because then it's shared with the. Yes. Yes. So we're doing some strong Postman collaboration right now, which means we're in the same workspace. Uh, we're both editing the same collection and we have a shared environment. Uh, the reason why I just asked him to change uh, another value, so I'll show you on the example one. If you only put your stuff in current value, uh, this is only local to your computer. So if you have any like sensitive data that you don't want to share with your team, put in the current value and here you put a placeholder and you say, put your own API key. And it can work that way. Uh, but if you want to share it, then you need to do uh, persist all. This copies it over to your initial. And now everyone is able to call that API using that API key. So that's basically what he's done. And now, see, still not working for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's just their server is broken, actually, because this now resolves to the right API key, et cetera. Um, and this is to the right. Can you try sending the open.api one? Yes, yes. Um, it's working on my site here. OK. <clears throat> so we have two different issues on two different screens. So Jerry is still trying to sort out the Twitter one. Uh, and let me know when that works. Mm -hmm. And on my end, I'm trying to get this call to work, which for some reason does not work with me. Um, Let's see why. I have the open dot key. I have the Steam32. Don't have any specific headers there. It just says sever. So for people developing APIs, this is not a good error message to send. <laughs> if you can give us more information, that helps us debug. Because uh, now all I can see is I can try to guess why this would not work. Am I on the right Dota 2? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe the key equals this. I'm looking at your screen right now. And you have the same thing, right? Actually, it's uh, it's working on mine right now for open Dota API. I'm on the Dota 2 environment, and I have yeah, it's pulling Steam32, and then API key is going to the open Dota key uh, environment variable. Hmm. Let's see if the console gives us more data. So the console gives you like all the details on what's happening. Uh, hopefully, it gives a bit more information. So Cloudflare uh, reports to Cloudflare. OK, response body is just internal server error. And there's no uh, more data. What if I do? Rolog. I look where it is true. Let's see. Context. Not more info. That is sad. Initial current. Ah, maybe that's why. Um, so let's. Put on the side, just copy it. That was fine. Uh, he'd actually replace the the value, the initial value with that. But obviously, this is my session, so it's going to use the current, and my current value was not updated. So now, if I put this here, hey, I am getting the data. So obviously, it was the error was uh, a human error, like most of the time it is. It was just me not actually double checking what value was being used in my in my request. So now we, we've got the data. And we said what we need to do is getting the uh, MMR and save it as an environment variable. Uh, so to do that, we'll go in the test scripts. So that's something that is executed 
after every call. Uh, and we have a nice little sample here that we can use to set an environment variable. So we want a variable called response to be em.response.json. And that will give me uh, whatever we see here in the response is not going to be in that response variable. And I should be able to do set MMR to um, response.mmr mm. estimate estimate. Um, and let's actually console log this. It says, so if I send that request now, okay, so I'm getting this here, uh, which is the value of the MMR. So what I did, response is the whole of this, then uh, it's a JSON object, so I can go down uh, and go for the MMR estimate value, uh, which is again here. And then in this object, I want the estimate one, which is that value. Um, and then what I'm doing, doing in this line, I'm setting an environment variable uh, that is named MMR to the value. So this is now saved in the environment. Let me double check on the side again. Don't want to share any, um, any secrets or anything. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And now Jerry has that on his end uh, and he can just run this, get the value and use MMR in the Twitter tweet uh, thing. How are we doing with Twitter on your side, oh, Jerry? <laughs> They're not liking my APIs. They're not like, like my uh, identification. I'm just like, what the heck? Maybe we just have to pretend that we send into Twitter. Yes. Let's see. Okay, yep, it works here. Uh, let's see if I can actually work on some stuff in the meantime. So you're currently editing the Twitter tweet uh, MMR request, right? And we have what we've done until now. Um, we've called the Steam API, get someone's ID, we've converted that to another type of ID and send it to the open data API. Then from the open data API, we get the uh, the ranking of the player that we're carrying. And we should be using that ranking to send it to Twitter. Uh, but we are currently struggling with the Twitter API uh, somehow. So we can't actually get the credentials to work. Um, maybe for different reasons. It may be because uh, Twitter is currently moving from v1.1 v2 uh, it may just be the copy pasting that doesn't work uh, it could be different reasons um but jerry is trying to sort that so i'm not sharing this screen because it's currently like hard at work trying to <laughs> to log into twitter uh, but hopefully you can get it to work and we can actually just see at least one tweet being sent uh, and that's probably if we get that tweet to be sent it's probably going to be the end of the uh, the end of the stream because I think we're running out a bit of, a, uh, of the, the planned time. Cool. So you're still uh, trying to get your credentials from Twitter and sending them. Yes. Keep on saying that authentication data for that. Let me see if I have uh, if I have a Twitter thing somewhere that I can try. So that would uh, be wonderful. I will share my screen again. Uh, let's see. Here. So obviously I have. Uh, have an account that I use only for these streams, which I need to remember the password for. 
Oh, first try. Cool. Um, that is my email, and we can use that account now. Uh, and let's do Twitter API. So it recognizes me. I can go to my uh, getting started and look at how do I log in to task page, project on lab, change log. Okay, how do I authenticate? Fundamentals, read limitings, tweets, search tweet, post retrieve, and then get with tweets. Cool, so I've got my account. I'll be able to use that to send tweets. Um, and now let's go back to Postman. So I'll, I'll duplicate your request, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so you can keep working on it if you want, or you can just help me and we work on the same one. Yep. We just work on the same one. I actually just renamed yours anyway. <clears throat> so let me duplicate. Rename this to yours. Okay, so we have this Twitter uh, tweet, and what we want to do is put some uh, authorization. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll actually look at this one and how this one is working. So this one, when we looked earlier, they had both 1.0 um, and like this. So I can shade and I'll do that and I'll put it on the side. Yep. Okay, so I need both 1.0 consumer key. We just paste them there because I don't really care because I'll definitely uh, revoke them. So I need my Twitter and I need, where do I get my credentials, credentials from? <clears throat> Should be in the developer portal and then from the apps. Yeah. Oh, do you see them? Um, should be on the left side. Could you share your screen for me? Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. I've been doing all this without sharing my screen. That's my bad. <laughs> for poor viewers that I've been talking to, talking about what I'm doing. Uh, so what I've done quickly, Craig, uh, I duplicated uh, Jerry's um, Jerry's request. I'm going to work on that one with my credentials. So now I'm on the Twitter dashboard and I'm trying to find uh, my, my credentials. It might be apply at the top. Oh man. So that's apply to get to. Uh, Yikes. Are you going to have to, to get access to the API? Uh, let's see. Developer Twitter apps. Oop. Create an app. Uh, they probably reverted my thing. So we say we're making a bot. I need a valid phone number. Okay, I think, you know what? Twitter has changed a lot of things. And I don't think we'd get it to the way we want it to be, which is all the way to posting that tweet with the MMR. Um, but it's fine because we have plenty of streams around the Twitter API where we actually post stuff. So you can uh, check these one out uh, if you're interested in that specific part. What we wanted to, to do in that stream anyway uh, was the first bit, which was uh, using the Steam API, using the Dota API, uh, getting your MMR, and then the actual sending that data and getting a leaderboard, uh, I think we'll have to We'll have to give up on this part for today, uh, which is fine because we've uh, we've done all of these already. Um, what do you think, Jerry? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally fine. We're skipping this part today because you, you've been you've been struggling for like twenty minutes with the Twitter API. I don't think that's 
I mean, for us, it's not fun. For the viewers, it's not fun either. Uh, so I'd rather we keep what we have working uh, and people can enjoy that part rather than us seeing us like debug, uh, debug sounds, what we're trying to do. That cool. Sounds good. Yep. So with that said, uh, still good work. Uh, we got that to work. What we do at the end of the stream, uh, before we leave, we always do like uh, community shout outs or anything that you want to share. Uh, if there's, I don't know, maybe a blog post you've read, maybe a podcast you listen to, uh, is there anything you want to share, Jerry? Mm. Uh, things I've read recently, I... Um, Apart from the Twitter docs that you've been reading for the last half hour. Oh, man. <laughs> it, can just just... Be, it can just be a blog post or something that you've... Uh, oh, it can be nothing as well. You don't have to share anything. I've been reading, you know, just a lot of the updates on <clears throat> on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X that's coming out. Like, I, I think X uh, Series X is getting, coming out today, so it's like really exciting stuff. I've are you, are you on, getting one? Man, I I want one so badly, <laughs> but miss out on the pre-orders. Yeah, I've seen a. There was a website. Uh, that was shared. So what they're doing, they make it so if you pay the normal price, you'll get it delivered like sometime May 2021. Mm -hmm. And if if you want it in January, you have to pay an extra $200. If you want it before Christmas, you have to pay an extra $400. So just uh, making money on top of that, which mm, I don't know. I don't really agree with that. Um, but yeah, what uh, what do I have to share? Actually, let's check. We have the community forum uh, that we always go to. Um, so I'm going to share my screen quickly. Let's see if we've had anything coming out from the community lately. Um, community showcase. Yeah, that's uh, this one we can share. Um, so Orest, one of our uh, community champions, uh, done that seven days ago. So one of the questions that's happening a lot on Postman is, how do I visualize my files directly in Postman? And uh, until now, um, what we said is usually you have to run a server on your machine. You have to download the file through that server, etc. Uh, and I think Orest actually found a way to visualize uh, PDF docs and spreadsheets directly, um, uh, directly in uh, in Postman using the visualizer. So I would recommend checking that video, uh, checking his channel in general. He's got plenty of interesting uh, Postman stuff, mostly on Visualizer lately. Um, so that would be uh, that would be my community shout out for this one. Um, and just in general, community forum, uh, lots of uh, lots of stuff coming out there. You can check out our blog as well because uh, we now have a Postman guest blog program where. Uh, or community people can actually go on the blog and post. So we have, uh, how do I see that? So we have a guest author here, uh, Lorna Michel did one about how to uh, use Postman to uh, query the Vonage API. Uh, we have a few like this, so check out the blog as well. It's my recommendation. All right, um, anything else you wanna share before we close? Um, just, I just want to say like, you know, it's been, you know, great joining the stream with you today and really not sure what's up with it. That's for the <laughs> API being so. That's fine. Really we'll, uh, make you with the authentication <laughs> keys. We'll call them. We'll sort that with them uh, after the stream. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, then with that, thank you all for joining. Uh, we'll be here again probably next Thursday. Uh, we should be there next Thursday. I, I don't have the topic yet, uh, or at least we've not advertised it yet, but uh, you, you'll get to know it soon. Uh, thank you for joining and have a good day or have a good evening. Uh, and bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.